100 LVDS LCD for the PC Duna 3B. Uh, we already have a video for the 3 uh, for 3B. So in this uh, video, we're going to look at how to integrate, uh, how to install 1024 by 600 on the regular uh, PC Duna 3. You can see on the PC Duna 3, if you look at the RJ45 sockets, it's pretty short. On the Mac uh, 3B version, it's pretty long. Okay, and I put a heat sink here. Actually, you don't need it if you don't run Android. Okay. So let's open it. Let's look at this. Sometimes uh, when the factory assembles this LCD, the connections may not be tied. So let's uh, make sure they are tied, okay? So the text, the side that has text should facing up, facing like this, okay? And we see some situations, the factory installed upside down. Okay. Tight. Yeah. Tight. It should be a uh, 10. A jumper wire with 10 pins. Let me count. J9, we see this little white dot here, which is pin 1. This is a long cable. It's a male to female. Oh yeah, oh, it is correct. Should be male to female. Okay, make sure they are tired and uh, flatting. See, uh, there are no crossover. Okay, good. Now we're going to connect this to uh, PC Diana. Let's look at the product page on this LCD. So, pin one, this one, black one, should be five volts. Where is five volts? Here, one, two, three, four, yeah. Should be, yeah, five volts. Second one, should be ground. Third one should be D2. Okay. Zero, one, two. Fourth. Fourth one should be D3. Fifth one should be D4. Six one should be ground right here. Yeah. Seven one D nine here. This 
Vamos ver, aí, ó. Vem. É isso, vamos ver. É C, é, ó. É C, é, ó. Deixa eu ver esse cara. É S, é, aí. The last one should be D8. Okay. Before we pull it up, we should measure. We usually use a multimeter to measure if it's hooked up correctly. Let's do this back and get off. Multimeter. Second one should be ground. Third one. D2. Fourth one. D3. Fifth one. D4. Six one ground six seven D nine eight SCL nine SDA the last one should be D eight okay we are all set now let's to create now let's move to the stage of preparing the SD card for kernel and uh, USB dongle for the file system. We'll come back later. I forget to look at this. Connect the VDS. The side without any text should be facing up on PC Duna 3 side. Secure it. And check. Yeah. Yes. Good. This disk ready. Put on the slot. Then power it on. It's blinking. Hmm. What happened? Oh, it's not ready. Shouldn't do that. What is? Hmm. Is that fast? Let me tell. 
remove it and see if it's boot. If not, I need to recreate this SD card. Maybe I didn't create it correctly. Yeah, looks like I didn't create it correctly. So we see, we have tried, you know, refresh this SD card a couple of times and it still just stops half the way. And finally, we found that actually it is because of this USB cable. We found a new USB cable which can, you know, pass two amps. Plug in. Sorry. Yeah. Plug in like this. Okay. LED blinking. So we know the root cause that's because of the USB cable cannot deliver enough current. So now it's fresh in the corner. Once it's done, we can remove the SD card. Power cycle PC dinner again. Okay, it's done. So you can see the LED stops blinking and both are off. Let's remove the SD card. Power cycle PC dinner. See? Turns on. So that's at this step, the corner is done. See all the text. Try to boot. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Now you see the LED is blinking. So that means it's asking for the root FS. Let's plug it in. Okay. The LED here is fast blinking. Still working, huh?
e o outro. So it takes about uh, already, you know, it should take about 80 minutes. Okay, once you see two LEDs blinking at the same time, that means the load FS was burned. Let's remove this thing. Power cycle PCB again. Yeah. So the, this is the first boot up. It's going to at this step, step it's going to exp so after a while it will boot up like this, and the touch is already included. You can see. Did I did I wire the touch correctly? Hmm. 